and welcome to a very, very exciting video. <laughs> I almost lost my voice right there. This video is a follow up to the rental car haul that we did. So we rented a car on Veterans Day. I'm looking at my cat. She's about getting some mischief. Okay, so it gets noisy. It's my cat. Um, where did she go? Okay. ADHD. Okay, we got the ADHDs here. Anyway, we rented a car and you would have seen kind of part one of that haul, which was like more Christmassy, Harry Potter, here we go, um, inspired items. And these, my friends, we hit the Harry Potter jackpot when we rented that car. Hello, my dear. This is Hermione. We're getting real Harry Pottery. My one cat um, that is named after Harry Potter. Oh, hold on. Oh, baby. Here she is. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Yes, she is. Um, can we not? Can we behave ourselves, please? Thank you. Anyway, we got a lot of Harry Potter stuff. We we hit up, you would have seen in that video, we'd have some malls. We hit up some, um, I was going to say independent places, but places not in malls. All sorts of places. And so today we've got, let's see, we've got Hallmark. I'm going to save that one for last because, oh my God, Hallmark is bringing it on. We've got Barnes & Noble, we've got Target, we've got one Pottery Barn item. It is the only item that I ordered um, and didn't get um, in the car trip. We've got Box Lunch. Um, we, <laughs> I know, sorry, two items that, that were ordered. And Walmart, like Kohl's, like what the heck? We found Harry Potter everywhere. Um, but before we begin, I want to show you, hold on, are you done moving? Oh my God. I want to show you what I'm wearing, which is the first thing that I am hauling um, or showing off that I love so much. I've treated my damn self again um, because this one I think was around the $50 mark and it is a onesie. I have another onesie. It's um, it's a dragon. <laughs> it's the, the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. It's just a black because I tend to stick with black. And um, now we have branched out to some color. And as you can see, this one has a Harry Potter crest on it. My cat is just really intrigued. And let me show you the feet. Okay, we could do this. Oh Lord, we've got our feetsies. Woo! <laughs> Let's do some yoga here. Woo! <laughs> what is Bummy doing? Oh my God, she's being weird. Um, I will say I'm a little cautious. I'm trying to get up close here of the way it's not really embroidered i heard somebody say embroidered this crest is embroidered i'm really i'm really showing you the goods here okay let's keep it down and then my favorite part so it zips down here my favorite part let's get all the way down oh lord this might be a long video because like i said we got a lot of stuff is the hood Woo! because it's like a wizardy hood and i didn't mention where i got this but i got this on amazon Amazon. What the heck, Amazon? It's so cozy. If it helps at all, I am wearing a size small. It was the only size that I could order and get right away. Everything else would have taken longer and wasn't prime. So I was like, let's try it. I can always return it because I thought I would be a medium, but I like it because I like a bit of looseness and it's got that. But yeah, it's got HP um, all over it. The only thing I think needs changing is this tag here. That says HP. It's a bright yellow. Um, I don't feel like, I mean, it goes with this, but it makes it feel very producty. Please do not, child. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. What are you doing? Stay down. Stay. Behave yourself. <laughs> Look, we got some windshield wipers here. <laughs> We're representing the car. <laughs> um, the only thing that I think needs to go is this tag. So we're going to do that right now. Yes, I'm cutting it right off right now here we go come on child do not be doing that so much better would you not agree i mean we still have a zipper we don't need a little thing off the zipper it just basically says i'm a product i was gonna say ask me how um but yeah i love it so much i'll probably be wearing it at christmas time please do not touch the camera um so let's get into all the stuff all the harry potter stuff like most of this is like licensed stuff i guess it all is i'm going to start with the two things that were ordered. So the first thing that was ordered, was ordered a while ago and it was ordered from Pottery Barn and it was on clearance. So I couldn't pass it up. 
And you're gonna see, hold on, let me see if I can, let me get it set up real quick. Okay, I couldn't really change much, but it has batteries in it. You would have to remove the batteries. But here it is. Oh my God. It is an Alohomora. Look at that, just look at the shine on that one. Alohomora doormat. And you'll notice, so it's got the keys. Let me, let me show you up close. I don't remember what the clearance price was, but it was a good amount off. And it lights up when you touch it. That's why it's lit right now. Um, and that is why I will not be putting this one outside. It's not recommended to be out like and get wet much. Um, so this will be indoors and it will be a nice like welcome mat when I come in because we already showed off the outdoor doormat, but I just love it. Most of the Harry Potter doormats, hold on, could we not? I'm trying to get the lights to turn off. Most of the Harry Potter doormats, let me put it down, um, that I see are very like, let me put the logo for Harry Potter on it as if you don't know what Alohomora means. Like I saw one that I, I pretty much liked the design and it said Alohomora and it was black, but then it was like Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't need that. We know it's Harry Potter. Stop with this nonsense. Um, so there you go. So that's the first item and I'm getting like the big ones, like physically the bigger items. Um, first, out first. This next item is also big. It's also like, I think was probably around $200. My husband could correct me, maybe it's 150. She's being adorable, but she's about to knock my water over. Um, and he got it for my birthday. My birthday is in July, so not really, I wish I was not born in July, but what can you do? Can we stop? Thank you. Oh, just take a bath. This is becoming a thing when I film stuff. My cats just like take a bath while I'm filming. Anyway, this is the gift that he got me for my birthday, my last birthday, and I wasn't recording, so I couldn't show it off. But it's perfect for Christmas time. He bought it for just that reason. No! <laughs> okay, we're going down. Down, you to say goodbye. Say goodbye. So, he bought it for Christmas time. I'm gonna stop stalling. Here we go. It is the other side. Hogwarts Express Train. Now, there are a few varieties, which is the name of this one, I forget. And we got, he got on Amazon. Hornby is, this, is the brand. It's supposed to be the better quality one. There's one that's like a really cheapy plastic. I think this one is metal. I'm not sure. Um, collect all, Hogwarts Express. And oh, and I didn't mention, this is an electric train set. So you can guess where I'm not be putting this one. And you will see this out and about. We have not tested it, so we'll find out if it works. Um, when we go to do that video. So those were the only two items that were ordered. The rest we got in that car hole. I'm um, telling you, we filled that trunk. Let's do sort of a random places, kind of a miscellaneous places first that I've got in front of me here. And we will start with Target. I only have two items. Um, this one is kind of branching out and I just picked it up and it is a Hogwarts hat. Just a little beanie with a little poofy poof. I, it, it's a little bit more red than I would normally go for. I wouldn't normally go for something that says Hogwarts. I do eventually want to get the knit one. I don't want the wool. I'm not a wool girl. Um, uh, but there are plenty of options out there. So I saw this one and I was like, you know, why not at Target? And then the other thing that I saw at Target, and I've seen they've had it for as long as I recall seeing it. <laughs> and those are the Hedwig slipper socks. Oh my God. I hope I haven't tried them on. I have like a size five, six foot. So hopefully they're not too big on me, but look at how adorable. They would go well with this. I might wear this. I mean, you'll probably see me wearing this outfit um, again. Maybe when we do the tree, I don't know, but they're super fluffy. They're a slipper sock, so they have a little bit of a grip, but they're more of a sock than a slipper. So that was Target. Then let's see, this next item I got from, these are all over the place. This was Kohl's. And it's a puzzle. So it's got like, it's very blue toned and it's got like every movie. So you can see um, Harry kind of aging over time. And let me tell you, uh, I will be, I have a huge Harry Potter puzzle collection and board game collection that we'll be doing probably videos in the future um, of those. And we'll probably be playing some around Christmas time, but this is another addition. I like that it's round. I thought that was pretty cool. And it was in the gift area. So like where they put all the board games and stuff out at Kohl's. 
Speaking of puzzles, because I can't stop, won't stop when it comes to puzzles. They're just soothing to my soul. I got this one at HomeGoods, which is the Hogwarts Castle. This one is 3,000 piece. I will say I tend to do like, how much was the other one? A thousand. I tend, a thousand is like a sweet spot for me. We love a thousand. We can, it, it gives us enough challenge. I don't like my puzzles to be crazy challenging. It takes the fun out of it. It takes the relaxation out of it for me at least. Um, but I thought maybe like one that's a little bit more challenging and 3000 pieces would be that. Would be kind of a, a nice one to have if ever we wanted to. Um, and like so far so good with having cats and having a puzzle. I've been surprised. They bat a few around. I did have one puzzle peed on. So um, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Um, but yeah, we will show that puzzle collection later on in the future. Okay, so this next Harry Potter item is from TJ Maxx. Like, I was surprised that TJ Maxx, um, and I think the next one will be Marshall's. Yeah, so kind of the same, one and the same. I'm, I was surprised, but I think when Christmas time came around or comes around, a lot of the more licensees type stuff comes out, um, things that would be gifted. And this one is the Monster Book of Monsters Mini. So... It is, I have a handful of minis like this um, that are just a tiny little version. And I, I think having them at work is really nice. So here we go. I haven't actually tested it, but my husband did put batteries in. Here's the monster book up close. Up close and personal, give it a little strokey stroke. There's the side. And then the back is um, pretty basic because it moves. And I haven't witnessed this yet, so let's, let's witness, let's witness it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I didn't show you the eyes. Can you see the eyes there? I'm asking as if you can reply. So cute. So apparently, I think it like opens and moves. So let's try it out. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It like, it goes backwards. Oh, it goes like in circles. This is so weird. What is it saying? Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's shut that off right now. Okay, the next thing that I got, and I mentioned it, this one was from Marshalls, was probably one of the first things that I found. Um, uh, that was Harry Pottery that I was really surprised at Marshall's and it's a pajama set and I will tell you like I'm a very much I love black it's my favorite color and you don't see it very much in pajamas or even very much in Harry Potter um, but I'm seeing it more and more and I found this beauty right here especially a Harry Potter Christmassy vibe and obviously with snowflakes you're getting a Christmas vibe I mean, it is very logo-y, like HP over and over again, but so is this one, and I dig it. Look at it, and it's the top and bottom, so we have both here. Super soft, we love us some soft stuff, um, and it's got like a tapered in leg, which I tend to prefer. Um, so really, really love it. That was $20. Again, I'm not gonna like list off every price. Um, but yeah, I was so excited to find that, and I'll probably be probably be decorating the tree in that I think it looks very comfortable it is very comfortable I tried it on okay the next two are from bookstores so the first one you would see in the thumbnail is this plush Cornish pixie look at this beauty look at this cutie patootie let's get real close here let's just take up the whole thing I will say I got a little tug in his arm but I think I can repair that that was from the tag um, but he's so cute. If you recall from the Halloween ones, we um, we have the bendable ones, which I really want to do something with. And I have an idea. I just can't find the item anywhere to my liking, I should say, to actually display them the way that I want to. Um, but I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to keep looking. But he's so cute. And he is bendable. Look at him. Here we go. Wow. That's uh, really going for it here. Oh, he's so cute. So uh, anyway, that was at Barnes and Noble. I did not mention that. Barnes and Noble has a lot of um, Noble Collection stuff. I'm pretty sure this is Noble Collection. Are we not? It doesn't say on here, does it? Yes, it is. Noble Collection for sure. Um, and he is not on Amazon. So 
just like Barnes and Noble um, or Noble Collection, handful of other places. Then the last item, we picked up a lot of things at Powell's, um, but this one, I'm only showing this one. This one is, we'll save the rest for another video. This one is very Christmassy and it is the Christmas at Hogwarts Magical Movie Moments. I believe this is a series. I am collecting a lot of Harry Potter books and I will plan to collect the rest of these. Actually, I have one more that I'll show in that video. But I mean, come on, it's very, very Christmassy. And here's the back. Who have we got in the back? We've got a lot of Yule Ball. We have the um, Great Hall tree, that gorgeous tree. And then on the inside, we've got like, there's a lot of little bits that you can remove because this is kind of like, almost like the scrapbooking ones that they have. So like there's one in the back as well that you can take out. So there's the up close of that. And then just to show you like up close there. And then I saw there were some stickers in here. Like look at these. So you can pull these stickers out. Um, and it's like very gently put in there. I do think this is meant for kids where they're not probably gonna care if there's a little bit of tear or um, more remains on the page. We have, I wouldn't say I love these too much. I think these are supposed to be scarf bookmarks. I would like to find more Harry Potter bookmarks that are good. <laughs> um, but here's an example of like the inside. Everything is Christmas focused. So there's a page there. I'm trying to show you a few more pop-ups. We've got, um, I think this is like a Yule Ball bookmark in there that can be removed easily. What are some other, um, we've got a Yule Ball. Is this like an invitation? School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I think it's just an image that can be removed. And I mean, I'm showing you it all. Art costume book can be removed as well. It's just going through everything Christmassy. Do we have any more? Oh, and then here's another set of stickers that are very um, Honey Dukes, uh, Weasley Wizard Wheezes, that sort, of, that sort of jam. But I thought this would be perfect to display. It's got the gorgeous like raven colory blue. It's got the great hall. I mean, come on. Actually, last item in the miscellaneous category is from Walmart, which I was very surprised by. And it's a candle and it is the Lumos um, Lumos Maxima candle. Here's the front. It says Hogwarts. We've got like the different houses represented on the side, the crest on the front. Here is the candle inside. And it's like, it smells like vanilla, I think. Yeah. Very interesting choice for, does it say on the bottom? But this is like a licensed Wizarding World product. It was $11.00. Not too bad because I definitely plan on reusing the tin, maybe for tea. I don't know, but it's cute. Okay, so the next category is a shop. I'm leaving two shops for last, two, yes. And we have box lunch. We hit the nail, the nail on the head, the ball out of the park, all the phrases. We got all the things at box lunch, which really surprised me. So I don't know, I, because I just don't normally find like a handful of items that I love. Um, but they brought it out at Christmas time. So the first item, which if this is coming out before my brother gets this, um, surprise, <laughs> this is for your dog. <laughs> and it is a dog squeaker toy of Dobby. Of Dobby. And if you look real close, there's a little sock on his shoulder. And of course he's um, carrying a sock. They also had um, a Slytherin snake, which I thought was adorable. There was one more I think there was something like kind of crinkly. I can't remember. I think it was like a Honey Dukes thing, um, but you can check uh, box lunch. But we kind of thought it just seemed like really wrong for a dog to chew on Dobby. It was my husband's idea and we were like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we love Dobby. Okay, we love Dobby, but we're just playing here. It's all about play. And then we have, let's see, some clothing items. So for this one, they had every house, but I didn't care for the other houses very much. But my husband's house, he is a Hufflepuff, was the best. And I'm just gonna throw it over my ear right now. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up first. And it is the cardigan. These are newly released. So you've got the crest right here, kind of a checkered um, pattern with a wider checker print on the sides. Oh, either side is different. I didn't realize that. So let me like throw it over real quick. 
You can see the whole shebang here. Very cozy. Love it, love it. It was a good amount. Now, oh, also I'll tell you that for box lunch, when we were in the store, they said that they matched their online price. And at the time, box lunch was doing a 30% off sale. And um, we went through a whole thing where she was like, well, it, it kind of needs to show what the after price would be. And she's like, I'll just give it to you. So everything, everything that we got at box lunch was 30% off. Um, or I probably wouldn't have bought it um, or bought as much. So that was really nice because I think that was like in the 60 or $50 range to get 30% off. And then the next item is so freaking adorable. It's another clothing item. I will need it adjusted because it's much, much too long. Um, but it is a pair of pajama pants and it looks like these, like these, <laughs> like this. <laughs> We've got an acceptance letter. We've got the Nimbus. Um, we've got Dobby here. It's kind of upside down. Here's a close up of the pattern. It's, it's in both ways. So you can really see it no matter how you wear it. And it's just a pretty light green pattern. So I think pattern, uh, background. So I think that goes really well with Christmas. Um, we've got the, um, love potion. We've got some, um, honey dukes representation with the candy. It's just like anything that you can think would be Harry Potter, but really cutesy made. I don't know. I dug it, but it is quite long. So if you are the height like me, I am 5'3 on a good day. Um, you will need it hemmed. So I have a handful of things that need hemming. Um, and then the last item, I have been eyeing this item for a while at Box Lunch. I've been in there a few times and I saw it and I couldn't pass it up this time. And that is the Honey Dukes cookie jar. It is a ceramic jar. Here it is up close. It's your traditional Connie Dukes sign on the front, logo on the front with all the goods all around it. It is, let me open it carefully here, white on the inside. Um, how much was this one? This one was $40, so then I got 30% off. And it is double-sided, which is really, really nice. Um, so, oh my God, that was a treat. And you know, the funny thing is, um, we may or may not have got another hunt, another cookie jar that you will see in another video, a very special one. Um, so I think this is going to be for our pets. So they're very, very spoiled, our three cats, uh, to hold treats in there. All right. The last group of items is from Hallmark. I'm so excited. Hallmark brought it. Hallmark really brought it. Um, and we are not going to hold back here. So let's move on. Let's move on. The first one we have is, is that little fuzz here? Like a trinket tray, but it's a proclamation trinket tray. It's got a nice like um, gold trim around it. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but it is the proclamation. And this one was $15 in store. Like they just amped up their whole section in store. The next one I got that I have been eyeing for a while is this no muggles allowed diagonally mug. It's just a basic black mug, which I love, but adds a little Harry Potterness to it. And the handle is like a nice handle. I mean, it's only on one side, but that's okay. I think this will look really cute on our mug tree. And I just, I've been looking for it for a while and I didn't really want to buy it um, online just cause I just get a little nervous on breaking it. So I was hoping I would see it in stores and I did. And that one was $20. And then the next two items I'm saving one for last cause it's, I was so excited to see this in the store is this, no, let's do this one. Is this wallet. So, um, Vera Bradley, which is a brand I would have never thought I would be acquiring. Um, but I did, um, especially because I'm not a quilt kind of girl. It just gives me like old lady vibes. My, that's my cat sneezing. If you heard that, but I, I, I adored this one and it is a wallet. Here is the backside. So you can put your um, phone in here fits in perfectly i have the not the newest version because the new one just came out but the one before that because we don't need to upgrade every year people um and then this side for your driver's license and it's got a nice handle to it so i've hooked it on things um has here let me show you up close because we've got like oh my god i didn't even see um fluffy on there we've got fluffy norbert Fox, Dobby, who else do we have here? Um, Hedwig, we got Hedwig on this side. 
and we've got a little cat you can probably say that's like McGonagall on a bunch of books like it even has the harp for the for fluffy I mean Norbert just about killed me okay <laughs> adorable let me show you the inside um so I like that it just protects your phone it just it's very thoughtful and like I said I didn't think I would do quilted but because it's a black face um I really appreciate it so this is the inside it's got some snitches on the inside you can see that on the back of the pattern on the front there um and it's supposed to be it says rfid protected so it's supposed to protect your cards um from the thieveries we've got a little zipper here which is really nice for coins all sorts of stuff money does actually fit in here and it it stops at the halfway point so the money does fit so you don't have to dig all the way down um, I'm really selling this one because I absolutely freaking love it. And then um, there's, it says Harry Potter on the, on the edge there, on the zipper there. But yeah, that is the wallet by Vera Bradley. Not a cheap item. This one was 70. I don't think I paid full price for that one. Um, probably not. And then the next item is too freaking cute. I couldn't even. And it is from the Hallmark Itty Bitty Collection, which I have um, one other item. I think I have Dumbledore, but I couldn't pass this one up. And it's a little niffler. Look at this itty bitty. And when I picked him up, okay, how much was he? I don't remember, $10 when I picked him up. So first of all, my thought was whenever I go to the dentist, there's a whole thing on why I have anxiety around the dentist, who friggin' doesn't? Um, but let's say a dentist has kind of like messed with the last year of my life okay um pulling out a string here we need to stop but i like having something to kind of hold on to i don't care if it makes me look childlike i don't mind looking childlike um but just to have something to kind of like ease my anxiety and i thought this was a perfect size but i had another idea if you recall from my fall like cozy fall day i showed you my plush niffler um, from Noble Collection that I adore so much, but the Sniffler has a little pocket. Now I thought, hold on, can we do this? Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Are you freaking kidding me right now? I'm dying. I'm dying. Like, they could just hang out together. Like, I mean, it looked better when the tag's not on him, but let's, here, let's imagine it. Look at that. It's so cute! I mean, I don't think they intended for it to, like, fit that, but there you go and then the last item I, I I saw that Hallmark carried this item but generally speaking it's not sold in any other store and we'll be doing a handful more and that is Charmed Aroma if you're not familiar Charmed Aroma candles they have a Harry Potter line they have a few others Disney Nikki um, they just launched a Barbie one not interesting to me I'm just interested in Harry Potter <laughs> And so I already have, as you can see, hold on, which side, which side, can you see it peeking around the corner there? Wink. We have the um, golden egg. That is a charmed aroma candle, um, right? Yes, that's the charm charmed aroma candle. What's cool about the charmed aroma candles is that they have a piece of jewelry inside that is reflective of what the outside is. So if it's Harry Potter, it'd be a Harry Potter piece. And a lot of them, it's kind of a mystery. And this one, um, I didn't have, so I have that one. I have Hedwig. Actually, I have a Hedwig one right over here. <laughs> but this one I didn't have. Let's show the right side. This one that I didn't have. <laughs> and that is the Golden Stitch. And I think for this one, there, so they show you on the side, like kind of the process of it, but there's the front. Um, so I'm going to pull it out right now. I will say about Charmed Aroma. Um, it's a little challenging. Their ceramic items sometimes come broken and I need them resent um, because they're not well packaged. But this one I bought in the store, so I was able to see it right there. And it's adorable. So here's the base of the Golden Snitch. Oh, I love it. And the other thing about Charmed Aroma is their scents are just to die for. Like this one is like, I don't know how to nail that. I don't know what it, I don't think they actually name what the flavor of their scents are. It just says soy wax blend. Oh, and their whole, uh, all of their products are 100% vegan, which I also appreciate because I am a vegan. All right, let's pull it out. 
we've got the wings are in here separately. So we've got the base. We have the top goes on like so. So here it is without the wings. Let's put the wings on. And they're both wrapped in a bit of plastic. So here we go. And it looks like they just kind of rest in there. So let's not move it too much. Boop. Look at that beauty. Oops, let's not do that. Um, so next, what I thought we would do is go burn this candle and find out what we got inside. Because I think there's like two options. Um, and, uh, and I feel like this is going to be perfect on our bookshelves that you would have seen um, in, that, in that video. <laughs> you would have seen in the inside Halloween decor video. It's so cute. Super shiny, but it's, it's a hefty size. That's why I kind of hesitated because it takes up so much space. But that's why I think it will be perfect on our bookshelves. So let's go burn this candle and find out what we got and do a little re revelio. Let's go do that. And we're back and we burned our candle and we forgot to hit record <laughs> so <laughs> I already know what I got but do not fret we will be doing more charmed aroma videos um, probably specifically charmed aroma so you will get that surprise reaction <laughs> um, but before I show you what piece of jewelry what necklace I got um, because this one is all necklaces let me show you an image in the corner here of all of the options. And I will tell you, as of this recording, for some reason, Charmed Aroma removed the Golden Snitch candle um, because I was looking for another one for Black Friday and it was not there. Um, and, and, but they sometimes bring stuff back. But it is currently available at Hallmark, which is where I got this one, and Amazon. But what's different about this one, so first off, it's all necklaces and there are 10 options. Um, which I feel is more than, than some of the other ones. Um, and as far as the ones that I was interested in, I can't see them myself right now. There were four that I was interested in because I'm kind of picky about my jewelry. Um, I generally stick to like silver, if not a mixed metal with a little bit of gold. So the house crest, I really liked that one. Um, the golden snitch, the one that is a silver chain with the uh, silver wings. So it's kind of very accurate to the Golden Snitch, but I also like the placement of it, so it would always be sort of center. Um, I wouldn't have complained about the lightning bolt, the single one, um, and the diadem. And the one that I got, it is time for the big reveal, the one that I got, I thought I was least likely to get. I thought, because I have seen this particular item as a ring through Charmed Aroma, and it seems to have been one of the most coveted items in that candle because um, I've seen it on third-party sites go for hire. So I was surprised when I received this item. And the one that I got, and it kind of surprises me that I'm very pleased with it, is the diadem. Let's see if we can hold this up. So it is silver. And what's really, really beautiful about this diadem is they, they have the little gem hanging off each one. So it kind of dangles a bit there. It's got the beautiful... Um, gem in the middle and the one kind of in center. So, so pretty. I, and the little um, bake everything, all of the detail there. I'm really pleased and I'm surprised because I am not a Ravenclaw. I'm a Gryffindor. 
I am probably least like Ravenclaw and don't even have a lot of Ravenclaw stuff, although I do want to get me that diadem from Noble Collection. We are saving for that. <laughs> so I am pleased to have received that um, because I never know if I'm going to kind of keep it, um, sell it, make my money back. Um, most of the time I just hope I would get what I want, so I get two things, a candle and a necklace. Um, but there you go. That was the Harry Potter kind of part two of the car haul. It was so much fun. I found so many Harry Potter things and I'm so excited to decorate the house with them and do a Harry Potter Christmas, which you will see those videos uh, coming out soon, but we have a few more hauls to go because I've been treating myself, okay? Um, but that is the Harry Potter haul, car haul, um, whatever, huge haul. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. My magical friends, do not forget to love what you love with everything that you have and keep making magic. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.